Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to provide permissions to a user on always on availability group databases in SQL Server. In this demo, we'll be learning a couple ways to do it. Number one, provisioning user access using primary replica. Number two, provisioning user access using AG Listener. Number three, up here, there is a limitation. You cannot provision user uh, using secondary replica because uh, the database is in read-only mode and it'll give you uh, error. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, do the demo of our first right here provisioning user access using primary replica so here's my server and I'm connected with my replicas and AG listener so let's go ahead and provision user using primary replica as you can see that uh, this is my primary replica uh, up here if you go expand my AG group is sales order underscore AG and I have one database uh, for the demo purposes uh, in AG group. So my primary replica at this time is uh, TBS SQL cluster backslash SQL prod and secondary replica is this. So let's go ahead and use this SQL Server instance to provide uh, access to a user uh, in avail uh, on the database of uh, availability group. So I'm going to go ahead and expand security, create a login. I want to provide George Bailey access to this uh, database. So check the name in your Active Directory, click OK, go to user mapping, uh, click on sales order underscore new. This is the database that is part of my availability group. So I'm going to give a database read permission to this user, click OK. And let's go ahead and take a look in, in the database if that user is in the database let me refresh this it is synchronized so go to users and as you can see right here George Bailey is part of that let me go ahead and delete this user so George Bailey is part of uh, Tech Brothers the reason I deleted that that user because I'm going to uh, use that user in our second part of this demo so um, it is part of that and now let's go ahead and connect as George Bailey since we used our primary replica to provision access to George Bailey on our sales order database so George Bailey should be able to connect um, using our primary replica name SQL Server instance name or uh, the C uh, SQL prod listener so let's go ahead and here is um, I have fired up Management Studio to save some time as a George Bailey. So if you connect right here, you can see the username is G Bailey. So uh, this is my SQL Server uh, listener name. Let's connect with that. And George Bailey connected to the listener without any issues. As you can see, he can expand the databases and he can read the tables. So let's go ahead and connect using primary replica name, which is right here TBS SQL cluster prod let's connect with that and as you can see that he can connect using primary replica as well now there is one issue with this uh, approach that if if you if we fail over our availability group George Bailey will not be able to connect to uh, your uh, listener or your primary replica so let's go ahead um, well not because once we um, fail over our primary replica will not be TBS SQL cluster and SQL prod our primary replica would be different which is as I showed earlier our primary replica would be New York cluster and reason behind that is let's go ahead first uh, prove this that uh, if he can connect or not I'm going to go ahead and um, fail over my primary uh, availability group to my uh, secondary replica right here after failover it will become primary replica for AG group so click next connect as you can see that this is going to be the primary now connect click next and finish let's take a look on the more detail All right, is successfully completed and as you can see once it's completed this became the secondary since my SQL Server instance are also a uh, part of a uh, failover cluster a SQL Server instance I have to go in the databases and resume the databases 
uh, for uh, syncing right here is a sales order is paused at this moment I'm gonna go ahead and click on resume data movement and this is a mandatory part of availability group databases if your SQL Server instances are part of also a SQL uh, failover cluster so now this became the primary as you can see right here this is the secondary TBS cluster and let's expand New York that should become the primary as you can see it's primary now what we're going to do we're gonna go um, George Bailey try to connect with SQL Server listener disconnect this disconnect this and I'm going to go ahead and this is SQL Server listener connect and it says login failed for the user George Bailey the reason we got this error is because the listener is on our uh, different SQL Server replica where the login is not created so let me go back and show you where right here is the security where our uh, availability group is right now primary so let's take a look on logins if I refresh the logins you will not see George Bailey in here and if I go back to my TBS cluster which was primary at that time but right now it's secondary and take a look in security we know that we use this uh, replica to create that user George Bailey as you can see right here it's connected now in order to resolve this issue what we need to do we just need to create a user same user on our uh, other replicas so this user uh, login needs to be created the user has already synced let me show you if we go in the uh, sales order new this is the database again part of uh, availability group and go to the user you will see George Bailey is here but since George Bailey doesn't have login it cannot connect to New York SQL cluster or um, listener so let me go ahead and just create the login in order to resolve this issue I'm gonna just create login G Bailey on this replica as well select the location of your directory active directory okay I'm not provisioning any access so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK all I did was created a login so now we're gonna go back to George Bailey's screen and see if he can connect with SQL Server listener as well as SQL Server uh, replica so let's go ahead and connect as you can see George Bailey was able to connect with SQL prod listener keep in mind that um, uh, in order to resolve this issue uh, if George Bailey is accessing the database using listener uh, then that uh, George Bailey login needs to be created on all the replicas where um, this availability group can become primary um, possibility of availability group to be primary on the replicas this user needs to be uh, on all the replicas so th this is how we resolve the error so let's go ahead and use New York cluster prod this is the primary replica at this moment connect it should be able to connect so this is one way that we provide user access to access our uh, databases that is part of our availability group now what we're going to do is using SQL providing provisioning user um, using our SQL server listener availability group listener so here's my availability group listener as you uh, I've shown that before so let me go ahead and quickly show you this is my listener SQL prod listener and I am connected with SQL prod so I'll go ahead and create another user using security tab of the listener and click on new and I'm going to do um, <coughs> Kevin Scott so this is my user for this part of the demo click OK user mapping sales order new we know that this is the database that is part of availability group click database reader click OK now as you notice that uh, if uh, a SQL prod listener uh, we connected and we provision that this see, login will be created on the primary replica so let's take a look if that is true um, we have right here this is our secondary replica let me refresh the whole thing
all right this is secondary replica now we wanted to see that if that particular user is created in security as you can see if we refresh this that user is not created on secondary replica even if we used SQL um, availability group listener so let me see that if the user is created on our primary replica let me show you this is primary so let's go in our user security and user and refresh this and you can see that case card is created so again if you use the listener being a DBA to provide access to any user uh, the listener will create login uh, where the availability group is primary at this at that moment so Kevin um, Kevin Scott should be able to access the database up here to save the time again this is Kevin Scott as you can see so I'm gonna go ahead and click SQL prod this is the listener he should be able to connect with the listener right here so let me go ahead and connect using New York using TBS cluster prod it should give us error as you can see that login failed the reason is that login is not created on TBS cluster so if we move our um, failover our um, listener then we will see that if uh, Kevin Scott is able to connect to our uh, database so I'm gonna go ahead and fail over one more time so this is the primary let me show you real quick that he should be able to connect with the primary as you can see Kevin Scott is able to connect using primary replica at this moment so we're gonna go ahead and fail over now connect this is gonna become our primary now TBS SQL cluster SQL prod keep in mind the Kevin Scott login doesn't exist on this server so connect next finish close is successful let's go ahead and resume the our data movement all right we'll go back to Kevin Scott management studio and disconnect all this connect with using SQL server in um, AG group listener and he's not able to connect let me go ahead and use this is the primary now and he's not able to connect so in order to resolve this issue we're gonna do the same thing just create a login now since this is the primary you can go ahead basically and go on the primary create just the login As you can see I'm not provisioning anything click OK and now Kevin Scott should be able to connect with using this uh, this is our primary replica let's go ahead and try give it a try this one and he's able to connect so basically this is um, how you um, provide or provision user access on us uh, of always ill always on availability group databases in SQL Server I showed you a couple of ways uh, but again the limitation up here is that if you try to use secondary replica to provide permission to any user you will get an error that database is in read-only mode and you cannot write it I hope this video helped